The look ahead to the next NBA Finals game, the Celtics and the Warriors all tied up at two games apiece. So who's favored to win game five? Joining us is ESPN basketball analyst Tim Legler. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. So let's start with that last game. The Warriors, they would have been in a pretty tough situation if they lost, but they tied it up in the series thanks to Steph Curry. Oh, yeah. Well, you're talking about a guy that's already been a two-time MVP. He's a three-time champion. He's one of the most iconic players in league history. And despite all of that, I believe that was his most significant performance of his entire career because of what was at stake and how important it is for Golden State to try to win another championship in the post-Kevin Durant era with that original core. I mean, they're really out to prove a point. And I think if they lose that game on Friday... They're not coming back from 3-1 down to Boston. So to do that on the road and give him 43 points in the manner that he did, really one of the most special playoff performances we've seen in recent memory. So looking ahead, what should we be watching out for? Well, a couple of things. I think Boston, first of all, if you think it's over, if you're a Golden State fan, now that you got home court back, Boston's won eight road games in the postseason, including – Elimination games at Milwaukee that's that saved that series and then winning a game seven on the road against Miami to get to the final. So they're a very good road team, eight road wins already. And Jason Tatum, I think, is the guy we should be looking at. He's been very good, but he hasn't had that signature game in this series where he's been the best player on the floor. Let's see if he can have a game similar to what Steph Curry provided for the Warriors. because I think Boston may need that to win this series because they've got to win another road game. I'm curious, are you making any predictions yet? Well, look, I picked the Warriors in seven, and it looks like it's shaping up pretty good. I didn't feel that great about it going into Friday night, but Steph Curry gave me hope that it looks like this could be a seven-game series, and I just love the firepower of the Warriors. I still feel like there's more there for them with Klay Thompson and Draymond Green, I think, and Jordan Poole. All three of those guys, I think, can still play better, so I'm sticking with my original pick. I like the Warriors to win it at home in a classic game seven. Get your goobers, your popcorn. I'm a junior <laughs> mints guy. So get your junior mints. All right, get all that stuff out because it's going to be epic. Tim, can you believe these guys didn't know what goobers were? <laughs> we didn't. I, we had, I, I, Google, we had to do a Google for them. <laughs> but the goobers with the junior mints, though, that's, that's a new twist. Okay, that, yeah. that is new. I like that. Tim Legler, thanks so much for being with us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.